Hey, Robert students, this is your principal, Mr. Helmick, and I want to wish you a happy February and a wonderful Black History Month. I'm excited to kick off our principal book reading series this month, where we are going to be highlighting uh, books on um, African-American stories that are, are worth telling and meaningful to hear and, and, and are worthy to be read. And so we're excited about that. We're excited to um, jump into this weekly reading. And so I'm going to kick it off this week. And then you'll have uh, Dr. Coulter and Miss Stewart and Mrs. Johnson also uh, reach out to us via story this week. And so uh, enjoy the stories. The story I'm going to read to you today is The Undefeated. It is a poem, and I'm super excited about it, beautiful poem by Kwame Alexander and Kadir Nelson. Some cool things for you to know as well. It is a Caldecott Medal winner. It is a Newbery Honor book, and it is a Coretta Scott King Award winner as well. So lots of, of um, uh, honor that this, this poem, this book has received. And so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander, illustrated by Kadir Nelson. This is for the unforgettable, the swift and sweet ones who hurtled history and opened a world of possible. The ones who survived America by any means necessary. And the ones who didn't. This is for the undeniable, the ones who scored with chains on one hand and faith in the other. This is for the unflappable, the sophisticated ones who box adversity and tackle vision, who shine their light for the world to see and don't stop till the break of dawn. This is for the unafraid, the audacious ones who carry the red, white, and weary blues on the battlefield to save an imperfect union. The righteous marching ones who sing, we shall not be moved because black lives matter. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unlimited, unstoppable ones, the dreamers and doers who swim across the big sea of our imagination and show us the majestic shores of the promised land. The Wilma Rudolphs, the Muhammad Ali's, the Aletha Gibson's, the Jesse Owens, the Jordans, and the LeBron's, the Serena's and the Cheryl's, the Reese Whitley's, and the Undiscovered. This is for the unbelievable, the we real cool ones. This is for the unbending, the black as the night is beautiful ones. This is for the underdogs and the uncertain, the unspoken but no longer untitled. This is for the undefeated. This is for you and you and you. This is for us. The end. Now, I'm, I'm happy to say that, that this book has some additional things that, that are, are valuable, I think. If you can get your hands on it, um, really cool. It talks about the historical figures and events featured in The Undefeated. And so what it does is, you, is, is I went through and I read this story, this, this poem to you. You heard, this is for the unforgettable, the undeniable, the unflappable, who shine their light. This is for the unafraid. The righteous marching ones. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unlimited. The Wilma Rudolphs. This is for the unbelievable. 
Now, all of those lines highlight historical figures and events. So we've got Jesse Owens. It talks about slavery. John or Jack Johnson, Ramar Bearden, Zora Hurston, Jacob Lawrence, Henry Osawa Tanner, Augusta Savage, Phyllis Wheatley, Langston Hughes, Aaron Douglas, Black Soldiers During the Civil War, John Lewis, the Civil Rights Movement, the Transatlantic Slave Trade, Mae Collins, Cynthia Weasley, Carol Robertson, Carol Denise McNair, Sandra Bland, Michael Brown, Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin, Martin Luther King Jr., Wilma Rudolph, Michael Jordan, Aletha Gibson, Muhammad Ali, Cheryl Swoops, Jesse Owens, Serena Williams, Reese Whitley, LeBron James, Thelonious Monk, Louis Armstrong, Billie Holiday, Miles Davis, Duke Ellington, Sarah Vaughn, Ella Fitzgerald. It has so much information about those people and those events, and I highly recommend that you get your hands on this book. Finally, if you would like to download a free audio version of the poem, you can visit hmhbooks.com forward slash free downloads. And the access code is the word undefeated. Boys and girls, it's a joy to be your principal. It's a joy to celebrate Black History Month and highlight the voices that need and should be heard. And so I hope you enjoyed this book. I look forward to hearing from Dr. Coulter and Mrs. Stewart and Mrs. Johnson as they um, open up our eyes to more engaging reads in the next few weeks to come. Robert Trox, because of you, we want to remind you that readers are leaders and leaders are readers, right? Boys and girls fall in love with books, whether it be poetry or historical fiction or narratives or um fictional fantasy books that take you to worlds that that <laughs> are only in our imagination. Enjoy and fall in love with books. And I promise you, the more that you read and the more that you expose yourself to, the better person you will become, the better student that you will become, and you will be set up for success for middle school and beyond. So pick up a book, be that reader, and enjoy this Black History Month with Roberts Elementary. Have a great day, guys.